What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamas Tank. So today we're doing a speed, RAM, temperature and benchmark test. In the first corner, we have the Poco X3 Pro. This is the first phone ever to rock the Snapdragon 860. In the other corner, what we have here is the S20 FE 5G. This is of course rocking the Snapdragon 865, which was seen on most flagship phones last year in 2020. So what we're going to do in the first part here is to start up these two phones and see which one does start up faster. So the Poco X3 Pro does come with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage, whereas on the S20 FE 5G, it's coming with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. And over here, you can see the Poco X3 Pro is a bit faster with the S20 FE just right behind it. So once the phone is started up, let's just check if the calendar is already up. You can see here the Poco X3 Pro is ready to go, whereas on the S20 FE it does take some time to load up. And yes, there is it. So both of these phones are having the Android 11 on top of their phones. This one of course is coming with One UI 3.1, whereas here on the Poco X3 Pro is coming with Mi UI 12. So let's check out the CPU Zeg just to see the temperatures on both of these two phone batteries. Here 37.2, over here 33.7. So yes, a better battery performance from the Poco X3 so far. Both of these phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi and location is on. Brightness is at about half on both these phones and they are running at 120 Hz. The battery on top here is 97, same here on the S20 FE. So let's check out the first one here, S Fold 9. So as you can see here, you have your Game Turbo, whereas on the S20 FE, it does have its own Game Booster. So you can see here, with the S20 FE just right behind it, but over here, Poco S3 Pro does have the first lead. Next up here is Pokemon Go. We need neck and neck on both of these phones. And looks like the X3 Pro is having a lead. And yes, it's already started up. Whereas on the S20 FE, it does take some time. And yes, you're finally into the app. Now let's go to the next one here, YouTube. Faster again on the X3 Pro, very impressive. Instagram, about the same on both of these phones. Let's go to another big app over here, PUBG Mobile. So far, the X3 Pro with the Snapdragon 860 is still performing very, very well. So it's pretty neck and neck on both of these phones. Looks like probably maybe the S20 FE just was slightly ahead. All right, now let's check out those batteries. And here is at 35.2, here's at 39.5. So pretty hot on the S20 FE. All right, let's go to the next one here, Chrome. Faster on the S20. Let's go to Facebook. Slightly faster here on the S20 FE. As you can see here, someone's talking about the phone. Let's go to Shopee. About neck and neck on both these phones as well. Let's go to YouTube Music. About the same on both of these phones. Let's check out the settings. A bit faster on the S20. Let's go to the Manchester United app. Second place. All right, slightly faster on the S20 FE. Let's go to the Premier League. All right, slightly faster on the S20 as well. Go to Netflix. This is an app that is not able to open on the Poco X3 yet. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's not yet compatible, so I hope they do fix this in a future update. Let's go to the camera app. 
Let's see how fast they do connect. Looks like the Poco X3 Pro does switch faster. Let's go to the next one here, TikTok. A bit faster on the S20 FE. Adobe. A bit faster on the S20 FE again. Let's go to Twitter. About the same on both of these phones. Playstore. Again, the same on both of these phones. Let's go to the, uh, that's about it. So let's do a check the temperature on both of these two phones. And over here, unknown for some reason. So as you can see, it's not really showing here for some unknown reason. Let's check out the RAM on both of these two phones. Let's check out PUBG Mobile. Here is still held up, whereas over here, the six gigs of RAM does show a little bit. It does start up on the X3 Pro. Let's go to S49. I do expect this to restart, yes, on both these phones. Most phones would actually restart this app for some reason. Let's go to Pokemon Go. Both also has started up again. So RAM not really that great on both of these two phones. YouTube. Yes, over here still held up. Whereas over here, yes, it did have to restart. Let's go to another app, Instagram. Again, restart on the on the X3 Pro, where a bit of refresh over here. Let's go to another app, Twitter. Yeah, both doing all right. So yes, both of these two phones are doing all right in terms of speed. They are there in terms of RAM management, not really that great. Let's check again the CPU Z. Let's check out the battery. So we're at 37, 40 degrees. So yes, this one's significantly hotter compared to the X3 Pro. And what I'm gonna do now is do a benchmark test. So I'm gonna open up Geekbench 5. So as you can see here, S20 FE, and here surprisingly is still under Xiaomi. And let's just run this benchmark test. So I'll see you guys in about the halfway mark. So right now we are at the halfway mark and it seems like the POCO X3 Pro does have a slight lead over the S20 FE. Of course, this is sometimes due to the software optimization, but over here we can see with the Snapdragon 860, it is performing as well or maybe even better compared to the Snapdragon 865. Of course, here is having the Samsung S20 FE. And do note the temperature over here is at 96%, whereas on the S20 FE, 94%. So very interesting over here, the S20 FE actually blows a hit from the X3 Pro. Here's the single score, 665. I never really got more than 800. I only did it once, but over here, of course, it's running a bit hotter, so the scores might be lower than what you're going to get. But over here, you can see multi-core score, 2739, and a single call again at 665. And here we have it, the score is higher compared to the phone over here, of course 783, but the multi-core score is pretty interesting over here, it's lower compared to the multi-core you're gonna find over here on the Snapdragon 865. So yes, very, very interesting scores on both of these two phones. And again, let's check out those temperatures. 42.4 and 38.2. So yes, pretty impressive from the Poco X3 Pro. So again, for the price, we're about 899 ringgit for less than 225 USD. This is an absolute beast of a phone in terms of gaming. Yes, this phone is gonna be really, really good. I will be doing a separate gaming video on the Poco X3 Pro just to push it to its limit and just see how it goes. Do click that like and smash the subscribe button to keep up to date with all my latest videos. So yes, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget that like and subscribe. And of course, if you want to find me on my socials, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Dr. Hummus Tech. So that is it. This is Dr. Hummus Tech. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.